man was so happy he was like stop celebrities like all these people that are big they don't go to salons to buy most time they do all service the best celebrity in the industry so far open my ring Of names. What's your passion? Like, how did you come about Babu? Oh, um, I started in this Babu like two years ago. That's 2020. Then it was inside COVID 19 period. Mm -hmm. And then I was scrolling through Instagram. I saw a female Baba. Then I went through a page. I was so, I, I was so in love with it. Then I told my dad. I'm going to And that was like, have you seen any girl that is babbing in this line? I said, no. She was not, it was to ask me what content then I put and I was like, it. Then I started watching videos of different YouTubers like Baba Stable, 360 Jay-Z, etc. But I saw that this thing is not, it's not really helping. I need to practice how I like to see practical. Mm. So my dad enrolled me in. Um, one Thank you. Not after the COVID. No, during the COVID. Like during the um, period of COVID, but it's not locked down again. Around June, maybe like two months after lockdown. Okay, so during the period of the training, you didn't get tired. You weren't. Nobody discouraged you. You didn't meet people that were in support of it. Actually, before I was registered at Ibabe Salon, my sister, she was like, wow, you want to be caught in there? Like, are you okay? She caught, like, babbing air, you be touching different people's head, like that. She was the number one person that discouraged me, but then I didn't miss it. Then after, when, uh, after registering, um, when I was learning, I got discouraged, maybe like a week after. Because a week after, I was the only one that was in the care of that was then. So people would come, they would be looking at me with kind, one kind of look that ah, you are learning but you soon get tired. You cannot you cannot do this thing in this space, like in this glory. That people now allow you to touch their heads or like that. For instance. I got a lot of things that would discourage me too. Because as for soon as I started the work would look very, very, very difficult. Because I was like, I've not been bad in my head, but I've been like So I'm starting from the Crash. Mm. It would hold a clipper very hard because um, holding a vibrating clipper is self for man, so I was so scared. I was like, can I still do this thing? But with time, I got encouraged. It's one of my boss got closer to me, started giving me advice that I can still do, I can still do. Then do that. Passion? Behind learning it in the Okay, way. okay. I told you I scrolled through um, someone's page, yeah. so I loved and I was like doing something different for me. What's everybody is kind of okay, that's nice. So how long have you said lockdown, eh? Yeah. So true. from after you next day, how long do you stay with your boss? I stayed like eight months. But um I learned for like three, four, five, six months. Then I started practicing seven, eight months. Then by eight months I got perfect and I left the visa started working somewhere else. Okay, so getting a job was not hard. Yes, even before I finished learning, when I was three months into the industry, I because I opened an Instagram page um, for myself, which I that changed to my business page. When I was three months old, I started posting videos 
ugly, vibing, or me, me guy who's hair. So people would think um, I've started vibing. A salon, like two different salons, as they say me that I should come and work with them. I told them I'm still learning, but they said, okay, that when I'm done learning, they still accommodate me. So getting a job was very, very easy. Because a lot, um, a lot of salons, they want something special in their salons so that people to bring in more customers. So I feel they they want to use me as a source of. And so how was pitching your price? Your price. In? How? Was, because seeing that you're already a hot cake, yeah. like giving people prizes, how was it? Very sweet. <laughs> because it's, it was very very sweet because. Um, for a random guy that is a barber, when the guy calls price like okay, the normal price, let's say one thousand naira, the clients might be like, ah, this one thousand naira is too much, something like that and all. And me, if I call, I will probably the price one thousand, I call one thousand for the person. The person might not even get as something as clean as what a male barber would get. But the fact that it's a girl, some will not even want to. Um, they won't even price that. Ah, people are not pricing one thousand naira because she's a girl, and, and they will even tip. So I think tipping is the most interesting part of it. Mm, so there's this thing about like guys, they were like, ah, she's a girl. How did you handle your new customers? Like, how setting boundaries and all? There are some new customers that uh, they will be like, okay, they don't like the girl touching their head, blah blah blah. So. There are some that I need for that. I don't argue with customers. Actually, some people just come and be like, ah, no, a girl is not backing you. I have a wife that is married and all. And about some other some other customers, they'll be like, no, is this girl go, 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 go. Yeah, I came because of her. Uh, sometimes I'll have like three customers. Other person will come and they'll still want to wait. So, um, do you keep training? You keep training aside the fact that like your whole skill you still like go for training how do you improve your skill your skill through social media because physical physically i'm going to learn because um i cannot just go to where i'm le- i have length i should go there and start picking that i want to learn they will be like ah, what are you doing hope it's not that you want to Way of taking customers from okay, so they will be thinking maybe I came to that place to get some customers for myself. So I, I don't go there, but just to get this is great and all like that. So I don't let the game for physical, but social media probably I saw someone's page and the person is very good, like very good. Then I will send a DM, like I will ask him, uh, him or other how she arrived at this uh, outcome. And I watch it too. Okay, very nice. So, do you think your background, the way you were brought up, affected you wanting to learn your skill, then going into something that means like? Yeah. No. Because my dad is this kind of person that is free. Like, I, I remember a friend, a friend of mine, who wanted to learn back, but his dad was like, no, you can't. Why, like, why would you do this? Like, you touching me and everything. That is a way of. Kind of Yes. It's a way of um, open marrying and coin. Do you get? Mm-hmm. So, but my, when I told my dad I wanted to learn, but because my style is a photographer, I told my dad I wanted to learn, but my dad was like, wow, you're very good, so you can't. Yeah. If, it's, if that's what you want to do. And there was one time before I have inspiration about this part, um, we were, me and my sister, we were coming from Zongo, so we had to carry Keke. So we had interaction with the Keke man, like, he's so free. So I was not telling this girl. The keke man was not talking about one woman that she's a keke woman, but she doesn't just pick any other person that she think bookings like um, so they will call her that she should mm-hmm. come and pick her up. So I was like, wow, this thing is fine. I want to learn how to drive the keke. The man was so happy, he was like, ah, you cheat me or you cheat me for filler. When I'm ready, he gave me, we exchanged contacts. On getting to my two, my dad, my dad said, okay, no problem. Yeah, when you are ready to start learning keke, my sister was like, Am I okay? Like she gave it bad to right? You know those kind of thing. So my dad is this kind of person that is free. Anything you want to do. So far it's all you want to go and I want to go and do something like that. It's an So how do you maintain your hygiene? 
touching hair than everything. Like this morning, I'll grab someone after bathing, I come to this place to wash my hands, then back to my seat. I'm doing that COVID 19 time, so I'm just going to wash my hands and then come to What was your uh, rising role? What, what was it that you did that made you become so popular? Um, actually, I didn't have one particular way of being. It's just Instagram, like social media. And my clients, when my, I, I started by having um, my first clients, my first clients will go come with two other friends. Next time when he's coming, those ones too, when they are coming individually, they come with and that's what So that kind of thing, I started doing and started doing. What was the most like your best thing you did in this industry so far? The best thing I did in this industry so far is training people. I love it. I love training people because I think that's the best thing. Mm, go ahead, like. How do you train them? Because how, how convenient is it? When I was, I like teaching people something. Like, even now, apart, apart from this um, industry, outside the public industry, probably when I was in secondary school, when I knew something, I like, ex I like the fact, my mom was even saying that I, I would later be a teacher, but I used to go for me. I like, even when I was um, doing all the day, when I was, I finished my SST, I used to do this thing for all this. It's not like I'm doing it for money purpose, but mm. for the fact that I'm teaching them, that joy that. Okay, so the best thing so far is training people. And I can try to say that when, when I was working before, I trained a girl and she's now in Baba now and she's good also. Okay, so your down moment is in this industry. My down moment is in this industry. It's me not being at work for a very, very long period of time. And um, getting a message from clients that were needed an echoed but I can't help and just or something is shy. So who do you say like are people behind the scene? What motivated them to go ahead? Eventually when you linked it, you loved it and you want your data kept on going and going. I would say physically physically I don't have a role model. All my, all the people I'm looking up to, all the people I'm like, let me say, copying, like in their mm -hmm. steps, where they are doing, they are doing their, they are all on social media because I have a lot of people who talk to me. Um, there are female barbers that they are in all these big places, talk on social media. So, and the only physical person I have that I can see as a whole model is my boss, like the person that taught me how to bow. The most challenging part. Challenging. Probably, you know all these top people, like all these top celebrities, like all these people that are big, they don't go to salons to buy most time. They do all service. But the fact that the kind of gender I am, I can't just go and do home service anyhow. So that's the most challenging thing. I don't do home service, and which is limiting. But aside that, your male clients, like, how do you manage them? People can be very, very overstepping, people can step boundaries and try to like, okay, this one is a baba, and last as the money she wants, that kind of thing. Actually, me, I feel most most of my kind, like 99% of my clients, they don't overstep their budget because of the kind of vibe we give them at mm. first. When someone texts me that, okay, probably someone wants to buy, they be like, ah, um, hello, baby, how are you? I'll be like, good morning, sir. So that kind of thing, they will, they will yeah, have they that they kind of vibe. So it's love. Um, I think it's the vibe they give them. Yeah. What do you have to say yeah. to somebody who wants to start something yeah. different yeah. and something something different? What do you have to say? To the person? What I would say to the person is just stay focused. Because now I have students. I told you, I have um, students that they will come to them. Today they will come, tomorrow they will come. I feel they they didn't have this determination. They just wanted to do it because of what they're doing. So then you doing it because of what you're doing it can never happen anything. And just stay focused and determined. That is it. Because determination is the key to everything. Yes, today is nice. How do you like, how were you able to gain the trust of you as a manager? How were you able to gain the trust of to manage? 
Why are you first of all working with the person or I started working here. Um, it is a new place though. So I stay working here the same back. Then the person is not always around. It's not around. So we give the cost to you. So that's all. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.